I'm Robert De Niro, I'm the new intern. You talking to me? You talking to me? There's no one else here. There's a bunch of toys. You talking to me? What up, big kids? Here's my big review of the intern out today on Blu-ray DVD Combo Pack. I want to thank Warner Home Videos for sending out this review. Now, this movie is directed by Nancy Myers, who did Something's Gotta Give, uh, What Women Want, um, you know, The Holiday. So, uh, this is... Uh, in that brain of that whole romantic comedy thing but this movie is not a romantic comedy it's actually a friendship comedy so uh if you're thinking that robert de niro and halfway the stars of this movie are getting here no no it's a friendship movie which is great because i'd be a little too weird uh, too much of an age gap there but uh, so let me tell you the premise of the movie so uh robert de niro's character uh ben uh is a retired widower uh, who is just kind of bored with his retirement and wants to get back and he sees a um, intern program for actually senior interns uh, that's run by Anne Hathaway's company, Jules. Uh, she is a CEO of this uh, startup company that's doing really well and uh, she's, you know, it, it's really the, about, you know, the old school versus the new school generation. So that's definitely what this movie is trying to convey. And so you know, he starts out, at, he's assigned as uh, Jules's intern, and then they grow a bonding friendship. Now, let me talk about the actors in this movie. So, Robert De Niro is amazing as always. He's one of the greatest actors of all time. Seriously, this man uh, has played so many iconic roles, and he really is the uh, big selling point of this movie. Robert De Niro is, is absolutely amazing. This is probably a great... A uh, role for Robert De Niro from not playing his typical kind of like gangster slash, you know, like really hard shell character. This is actually a very warm, different side of Robert De Niro that we're not used to seeing, which I really liked. It's, it was really nice to see him. Not like playing that guy that wasn't just like the um, meet the fuckers slash, um, you know, like typical uh, Martin Scorsese roles that he's done. So I thought that was really awesome seeing him, like very warm. You know, he's very much the old school gentleman, very hardworking. Um, you know, he does what he's told, slash, you know, gives good advice, very wise. Um, very much like a father figure to Anne Hathaway's jewels. Now, Anne Hathaway, um, I also liked her a lot in this role, too. She definitely plays a woman trying to balance a lot in her life. She, you know, is the CEO of a company, but she also has a family, which her husband is played by Anders from uh, Workaholics. And well, we also got Adam from Workaholics too, which is so great. So we got two out of three Workaholics guys, which if you're a huge Workaholics fan like I am, definitely a good selling point on them because both of the guys are great. And especially Anders playing um, uh, Jules's husband. Uh, he's like me right now, like bearded and he has glasses, so he definitely looks different. So uh, definitely it's very different take on uh, what he normally plays too. So, But um, yeah, she's trying to balance her family life. You know, she has a daughter who's absolutely adorable. The, the actress that played the, the daughter of Jules and, and her husband, just absolutely adorable. Um, yeah, so she she's definitely, you know, needs to learn to relax. And you know, Robert De Niro's care, uh, Ben really helps her through that. Um, I won't spoil a lot that goes on in the movie, but yeah, you definitely see a lot of um, uh, different uh, things that play out between the work life and the personal life, you know, that they help each other and give advice. Like, you know, as much as Ben is helping Jules, Jules is helping Ben with like, you know, sorry, I'm Facebook, you know, that's that was really cool elements to see, which definitely the older generation still can be touched. My dad doesn't have a Facebook, so I felt like <laughs> that's what would be like me and my dad like, trying to help him with a Facebook. Um, and then, uh, you know, like I said, we got um, Adam from Workaholics. He's so great. He plays one of the, the other co-workers in here. Uh, there's a, a crew on here that, you know, uh, are are kind of like his co-workers uh, that are really cool like seeing them work together they had some really funny bits there's a kind of like a little heist scene in there they actually reference Ocean's Eleven which is really cool so there's definitely some very funny moments very sweet tender moments the only problem with the movie it's not the acting and um like I said the cast is great also Ray Renee Zellweger and here's one of the other problems I mean not Ray Renee Russo uh is in this movie and she plays actually a love interest to Ben's uh but he, she is underutilized, I think. I wish I could see a lot more of her, but it is nice seeing, you know, the scene she was in. She was absolutely wonderful, and she's still smoking hot at 60. Holy crap. Um, but, yeah, the only problem with this movie is that it's definitely trying to, the message was kind of, okay, is it, like, 
how old school and new school can learn from each other. Is it a friendship? But the way there's something that happens in this movie that is really bad to one of the characters, and then the way it's resolved, it's kind of like a little unrealistic. It's like you, they kind of try to set up where it's okay, I can understand what she's doing, but it's it just like, no, it's like, what the heck? I mean, really like got off too easy i won't spoil what it is but yeah and then um the way it ends it just kind of um okay well hmm. so i felt like uh the cast was great there was some great humor but the plot overall uh was just kind of mixed of what it was trying to convey and i feel like it wasn't as satisfying as any i feel like the last 10 minutes was kind of like oh so i, I felt like the ending was kind of bad so but um let me get to the other uh, bits of the movie. So uh, first off, the cinematography is absolutely beautiful. I have a 4K TV and holy crap, I felt like I was actually just watching through a window like Robert De Niro and Anne Hathaway and um, I, I felt like uh, it's just so beautiful like how this film, it's very colorful so I, I like that a lot. So the cinematography is great. The uh, watching on Blu-ray definitely worth it, especially if you have 4K TV. Um, and, and the sound's pretty good. Um, the special feature is very light though. Uh, only four special features and they don't even equal out like 20 minutes, I think. Yeah, it's very small. Um, no, it's actually only three. So it's learning from experience. It's just uh, Myers and the cast talking about, you know, old school and new school and, you know, about, you know, you know the story elements of, of that dynamic. Then there's Designs on Life, which, you know, has the set designers talking about, you know, designing like the, um, the houses like you know Ben's house and Jules house and then of course the um the, the their the workspace and then uh just the three entrants of uh, which you know um Adam Devine um Jason Orley and Zach Perlman uh the, the the guys that are kind of his like crew and they, they have like a, a big part in the movie too uh, obviously uh it, it just talks about like uh their little um antics of working together so i thought oh, that's cool but uh, and then there's just some trailers but nothing really there's no commentary i wish there was some sort of um deleted scenes or uh like uh, or a gag reel i feel like a, a comedy should have a gag reel so i was a little disappointed that so overall the movie's good just a little disappointing in some aspects it's it, it's fun time but definitely not the most memorable so with that said i have to give the intern a three out of five uh like i say if you're a big fan of robert de niro and halfway definitely go see it if you're a workaholics fan definitely pick it up like i said it's 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 worth seeing just like not the most memorable groundbreaking comedy out there so uh thank you to warner home video for sending me out this review you can buy this on amazon or at their shop link is in the description and for more check out my website seanxlong.com like me on facebook follow me on twitter instagram link is in the description i'm sean long mirror live long and love life so one thing i got from this movie that uh ben is a new workaholic and stuff. He replaced Blake. Sorry, Blake, you got a cool mustache and cool hair, but you're not Robert Nero, man. Look, sir, droids. I don't like sand. It's rough and coarse and it gets everywhere. Uh...